texting me the ungodly hours is that you know <laughs> don't text me the ungodly hours Eleven because what must he be what witching hours when i want to text i'm just kind of i'm so on eight text i'm so on eight text And welcome back to it. You are tuned into the relationship chats with SA2 and Misha. That is what's up now. We left you last week with, ep- with part one of episode two. Um, and we were basically chatting. We were supposed to talk about boundaries, and then it just started becoming worldly dating versus godly dating, and just like a whole thing. <laughs> so we decided to bring you a part two, um, where we're just going to explore practical ways to set boundaries, yeah. both in your single season and when you're in a relationship. Right, and I mean, if we're being legal about it, you're technically still single if you're in a relationship because you're not married. But you know what we mean, like single as in solo, dolo, yeah. by yourself. And then and when you're in a relationship and you're pursuing marriage, marriage with someone, cool, awesome. Yes. So, so let's first get into single season boundaries for thyself that you think mm-hmm. we should we should have as as young people in Christ. Because again, we're not putting this on you if you're not a Christian, like. Mm, you have someone no, actually texted me you have no obligations and they were like um i would i would i would sub- subscribe to your channel but what you guys are talking about you yo but you guys are kind of imposing your beliefs on us and i'm like i didn't say i didn't force i didn't put a gun did they say we're imposing tense <laughs> okay i didn't put a gun over we here really and i said go watch the video we i posted really a link and you decided to click on the link like why am i imposing now you could have when you heard it was christian you should have just said Pause. okay no it's not happening. it's not for me i'm not the target market like hey guys please rest please rest guys please it's a ninja channel for youtube i sense a i won't see me anywho i i boundaries boundaries <laughs> that just made me nar. <laughs> no nyani i was so confused i was like it's not make sense but girl we move other things we just do not entertain as facts facts anyway so boundary number one that you need to or also these are just suggestive hey mm-hmm. i'm sure you can think about your own things We're just trying to help because sometimes i'm young but i don't even know where to start or oh, with setting boundaries yeah mm. yeah bro. so let's see the first one that we think we can suggest that is important is let's watch how we chat these gents if you're female let's watch how we chat chat to the gents and if you're a male let's watch how let's watch how we chat to the females yeah. because there is such a thing as being suggestive let's be real with it even if you you're not intentionally doing it mm. Nah. Mm. Th- does yeah, that make sense yeah. because sometimes we wonder why we're getting certain energy or uh, vibes from people and you're like but when did i kind of you're putting out the way you're yeah, texting, those, those the way you're chatting, yeah. you're giving that impression that I'm open for this. So, so I think, wow. let our yes be a yes. That's what the Bible says. Let your yes be a yes and a no be a no. Period. And it's not bad to say no, guys. Ladies. It's not bad ladies, say no. Say no. It's your right to so say no. Baka, so cope depending in the situation. <laughs> because you are a yes ma'am type of person. I had to I had to pray for this girl next to me. I had to drag her out of a weirdly codependent relationship. But God is good. What a time. <laughs> this chick was like, I want, every day I'm trying to see this person. No ma'am. <laughs> we saw each other every second day. But still. that's every day. <laughs> but still, I'm not I'm not justifying anything, guys. Don't do yeah, that. Don't do that. <laughs> you don't want to do it. Say no, bruh. And if you know you were a gone girl when you're in a relationship, please do this thing. Set these boundaries for yourself, because if you're not investing time in you, this person is gonna dictate who you are. Yeah, I th- it goes back to that thing you said in the in part one about losing yourself. Yeah, no. You just it's easy, guys. Especially I think as females, we just <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's just like imagine, imagine who are our guys. <laughs> I can see her watching the story of her life in her head. She's replaying. <laughs> She's replaying. <laughs> anyway, so I don't know. Looking at the screens, calling yourself a royal, a royal priesthood. That time, acting like something else. Okay. Um. So yes, let's be careful how we talk to people. Let's be careful how we entertain certain conversations yeah. because 
Yeah, we don't want to find ourselves in compromising situations, man, because you entertain something. Another boundary then would be if you know Ungotile evokes certain things in you. If you care enough about your walk with Jesus, you'll do it. Yeah. Sometimes it may be difficult, mm. but that just it also just shows me how deep your love for Jesus mm. is versus how deep your desire to satisfy your flesh is. Um, boundary number two. <laughs> Someone, I think, I'm not sure, but I think it was Jubilee on one of her videos or on Instagram, I'm not sure. She said, it's important to say even times that I don't talk to certain gents at a certain time. Mm. So if you text that home, but then, why are you texting me? What must happen? What are you going to talk about at 10 p.m.? Example to me, example. Example to me. You know, it's just back in the day, you know those stupid texts, what are you wearing? No, sir! I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to I am! You see? No, legit. They, it's a trap. they were. They were like that. It's Mix it. What color is it? I'm more. Your God, you've delivered us. <laughs> But it's messy, guys. So you have to... You think it's a joke. The thing is, you think we're playing. Boundaries are all about protecting yourself. yourself and remember, these ones are about your in your singleness. God, your relationship with God. Again, if we are yes, is a copa empty. Don't do it. Don't do that. If you know he or she makes you think last. One, mm. two. And if you know about certain mission, things... Bruh lead you to thinking last lead you to thinking mm. like set those boundaries mm. i'm not going to do this yeah when it's so and so because yeah. it leads me to doing things that uh contradicts the word of god yeah and it jeopardizes my relationship with god and i'm not saying that when you make a mistake god leaves you but what i'm saying is we have a responsibility to protect the spirit of God that is in us. The Bible teaches us that we we are we have the ability to grieve the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I did a teaching on it a while ago. I think one of my older YouTube videos. You can grieve the Holy Spirit by your behavior. So if you don't protect mm -hmm. yourself and you don't God, because the heart is deceptive. You think you're doing the right thing because your heart is in it. The heart wants what it wants. We talk about the most deceiving. Yeah, that's why Jesus says, "Guard your heart." For all the issues of life flow from it. So what you do in the ungodly hours on your text messages, it shows what's in your heart. <clears throat> what you think about brother so-and-so or sister so-and-so, it shows what's in your heart. So please, man, Don't protect your heart. Me. Don't text me at the end. Me, as a matter of fact, at 10 o'clock, I switch off my phone. <laughs> But anyway, so I mean, again, it's just suggestive. We're just suggesting things that we think could be helpful to protect you in your single season, to ensure that you are being faithful in your yeah. relationship with God. Also, ladies, stop pursuing men. <laughs> I know it's 2021. How do you do it? I know it's 2021, but if you're calling yourself a Christian, stop this thing. Stop like it, how does it, it work, guys? Please explain to me. The like it's a scene. Mm -hmm. The scene. Mm -hmm. Do you go to like, let's go out on a date? Like what must they'll come in below and let you know, Chami. Please. I've never done that before. It's not my portion. <laughs> it has never been my portion. It's never been my portion. Because if the, I remember, never. You know how God is so beautiful. God, yes, you are. <laughs> God sees us as a finished product, and everything in between is Him trying to get us to that finished product. Mm. How dope. Right? So as much as we see ourselves as a mess and as unworthy, he sees us as a finished, as, as like Christ. Ma masterpiece. Masterpiece. David. You are his masterpiece. Mm. That's, that's Ephesians 2.10. Come on now. Masterpiece. You are God's handiwork. Ooh. His masterpiece that he predestined before time. Because um, remember, God is not confined in time. He precedes time. He exists outside of time because he created time. So, even you there who was like, oh, when's my boyfriend coming? Wait. Hold up. They don't love you like I love you. <laughs> Slow down. They don't love you. That's Jesus. He's like, that's what I'm about. To all the girls yeah. that are trying to get a boyfriend, Jesus is like, back up. They don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you. He's coming. He's, He's coming. But Relax. 
Like, we forget, like, read your Bible, bro. I feel like that's all I keep telling people. Just read your Bible. Because you they keep thinking, like, yes? They don't understand what you mean. Then tell them what I mean, sis. You know what I mean. Tell them what I mean. They always ask, why am I reading the Bible every day? It's because it's a manual for life. It's and God is telling you what to do. Have to. How yes, to live. We have to do it because the Bible also tells us that you have to. Dog. What, what is the word? Which Meditate. Word? On the word day the and word, night. Day and night. Day and night, my G. Not once in the blue moon. Mm, not once. Not when you go mm. in. Mm. When life is bad, now mm. you're looking for the scriptures. Okay. When life is good, rejoice in the Lord. And I say rejoice. Anyway. <laughs> we were still on boundaries. Um, so yeah. Tea. What? But you like iced tea, so. You like, like cold. You like co- yeah, you like cold co- coffee. It's so weird. Anyway, unless it's iced coffee that I made specifically to be iced, I'm not gonna drink coffee that was hot. Now it's cold. Now I must no. I scroll up. I don't know. Stop it. Stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, number three, maybe of a boundary that you can think of that we need to put in place, or must we hop? Must we jump to the ones in relationships? Let's hop in. Let's hop into that. Let's hop into relationships. Boundaries have to be. But mean? like there's like a lot There's a lot Like we said like, We don't have all the answers What are you thinking? I said I'm not thinking anything But I know there's a lot Obviously Let's <laughs> jump <laughs> Anyway Okay So For when you're in a relationship Boundaries When you're in a relationship Ladies, gents Like I said You're human your feelings don't go off because you're in a godly relationship or you're with someone mm. who understands where you're at in Christ and what you want to achieve and that you know you're all heading for marriage. Mm. You need to put bodily boundaries, intimacy boundaries. If you know when she holds you like this, it mm. sends you. Be like, baby, I love you. But, but please don't. You know? If you know, my sis... You know, <laughs> Ukuti. I'm not gonna mention, but you know what's personal to you. Yeah, whatever it is, male or female, that when someone else does it, you know, it could be something as simple as you know playing with, with your ear, ear. or even in in right? Guys, you need to be so sensitive if you want to protect your relationship with God, because I think you're forgetting is once you re- once you get into a relationship, you think you've made it. You need to protect your relationship with God regardless, at all costs, at every point in time. So if, even, and if you're with someone who understands about, I said to, when we go, when we go out and we have coffee and we have dates and we spend like 500 grand a day, <laughs> it's not working well for my spiritual life. Can we stop? <laughs> then do it. We need to stop. I said to might be hurt. She might be offended. But if she loves me, she'll try to see my point of view. And yeah. because she honors me, as her sister in Christ, we're like, okay, I understand, sis. You know, it's not the best thing, but we enjoy it, but it's not working out. Let's let's not do it now. Yeah. And, that, and that's a stupid example because we're going to keep having our confidence. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just trying to make an example that if in this relationship you guys really care about each other yeah. and you're, on the, you're equally yoked. That's very important. It's always going to go back to that. It's really always going to go back to that. You know, if we understand where we are and what we're trying to achieve, we yeah. will understand that if na. Even if, for example, as a gen, if you're really affectionate and you love touching everywhere or you love kissing everywhere, you know, and, you're, and, you're, and you're, your Girl. girlfriend is like, your babe, when you kiss me on my ear, when you kiss me on my neck, it makes me feel some type of way. That's, that's not gonna... It triggers me. It makes me wanna... Mm. It, it makes me think of things. Already thinking about it is already a sin. And that's what the Bible says. <laughs> you know, so if you understand and you love each other, you will make that sacrifice, even you as a gent, yeah. to be like, okay, babe, I won't kiss you where it makes you feel some type of way because I honor you and I honor your relationship with God and I see you as God's creation before I see you as my girlfriend. Yeah. 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 It's really nice that I go to dating, yeah? It's cute. It's cute. It's nice, but it's also, it's challenging because that's the thing about being in a relationship that's godly, even with your friendships. It, it's, like I said last time, it's iron sharpens iron. Yeah. Um, because 
that person who you're now putting a boundary on for yourself and for them, it's, it's sharpening them. It's making them compassionate to you. It's making them more cognizant about, this is not about me yeah. and my selfish desires, but I need to consider someone else. Mm. So that's, the, that's what I love about being in a godly relationship. It's not always easy. Um, sometimes there's friction because we're different people. We have different personalities. We do things in a different way. You know, we have different expectations and whatever. But communication, transparency, and that's the thing with boundaries. You have to be transparent. Because if you don't communicate your boundaries early on, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Mm. Yeah, but if you don't communicate to my babe, I think we shouldn't hang out off the dock. Let them yam Ne? Because remember, it's not just about you. You have an enemy yeah. who is like a roaring lion who's waiting to devour you. So don't give him a gap. Don't give him a chance mm. to mess with you. Yeah. I think the thing with boundaries, man, there's so many. There's and lot. they're very specific to who you are and what it is that it's, it's, it's personal to you. Mm -hmm. It's personal to you. So I don't think I can give you any more specific because I think we've given you a lot of general Situation. situations and you just need to figure out where you fit in yeah. holy spirit leading you anything else you want to kind of drop in there no. are you sure mm -mm. okay okay i think we we've wrapped up between part one and part two boundaries and yeah. also godly, godly dating, dating. Yeah. um you know uh yeah man yeah yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you so much hey. Do hey. that's literally the song i know <laughs> that's, that's, that's our that's our song bro but it's fine. Thank you so much for tuning in to Relationship Chats with Misha. And this it too. Yes, sir. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. Don't forget to hit the no notification bell. Below. Yes, please. Also, um, make sure you go watch episode one and episode two, part one, so that you can keep going and keep catching up with us. And understanding what's going on. Yeah, what's going on here because it's very tricky, this thing. You know? You know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, man. Bye.